you know, I, we're always looking for something that kind of sparks our interest and, and, you know, we look at somebody and see something different that we haven't seen because, you know, to be honest with you, we're going into the ninth season, we've seen an awful lot and I've seen an awful lot around the world, but there's still always somebody that has a different take on things. We can honestly say down in Atlanta we saw four boys, called, they call themselves, I think, Dragon House, that were so unique, that have taken hip-hop to another level, uh, that just blew me and Nigel away. And that, I think that was our second city and we were spoiled after that. We couldn't stop talking about them. You'll hear us say today, you know, we've seen hip-hop and we've seen it done to another level. So when we, we have to cut a lot of people now because we've seen extraordinary. Uh, you know, we've seen some dancers already here in Los Angeles that, you know, wow, you know, extraordinary level. We expect that here, to be honest with you. I'd be disappointed if we had anything less, but L.A. has never let us down in all the seasons that we've been doing the show. Never once have we walked away from the L.A. auditions and saying, geez, not so good. Well, that happened in New York last season. You know, New York and L.A. have always been really big cities, but New York brought it this season. I have to say, New York, Atlanta, and, of course, L.A. here, it's already looking really good where we sent dancers straight through to Vegas. I think we sent the first dancer straight yeah. through today, which uh, that doesn't usually happen, I can tell you.